feeling sexy and free Like glitter's raining on me You're like a shot of pure gold Hi! We are The Exchange. I'm Fredo. I'm Aaron. I'm Jamal. I'm Christopher. I'm Richard. So our name, The Exchange, comes from a desire that we have to travel and to use music to connect with other people. Uh, we all studied music and or had a relationship with music before The Exchange. Uh, Aaron, Jamal, and I all studied opera in school, uh, and <laughs> Fredo studied music business, uh, and Richard is a guitar player, and so we, we have different backgrounds, but we have all realized that music is a really strong, powerful way to reach people, and it's a universal language. So uh, we chose the name The Exchange because we don't want our show and our performance to just be a bunch of guys singing at you. We want you to participate and to clap and to dance and to sing with us and hopefully to exchange cultures and ideas and maybe phone numbers through music <laughs> so that we can... <laughs> making the world a better place. <laughs> I think we've, we, we have found that in the world, people, there are so many ways in which people are different, especially people from different places. We, in fact, in our group, are very different. We're from different places in America, different cultural, religious, skin color, everything <laughs> backgrounds. And our musical backgrounds are even different. But we found that music brought us together as friends and then as a group. And even though we're different, we have something that we think is pretty special. And then we found that, hey, if it worked for us, it can probably we can make more friends through music and we can go around and show people how music can actually connect even people that are so different from opposite sides of the world. So we're really pumped about that. That's what we think the exchange is about. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta love the After college, I started singing in um, a cappella groups professionally. Uh, I was um, in Boston, singing with another group before I joined the exchange. Uh, they, they kind of stole me away from me. <laughs> <laughs> He's ours! Uh, and I also, uh, I taught uh, at different music schools beforehand. Before the exchange, uh, I was a music teacher as well. I worked for many various nonprofits uh, uh, teaching music and art and drama. And I worked on the television program, The Sing Off as a vocal coach and arranger, and that is how I met uh, these guys. Actually, that's how I met almost everyone, and uh, yeah, so that's what I was doing before this. <laughs> My background uh, was strictly in classical music. I started playing cello at the age of three, and then piano, and was just very classically oriented, taking classes, and um, then I just basically branched out, and acapella helped introduce me to pop music and I realized what an outlet it was and that classical at this day and age, I love it and it's still in my heart, but I want to help find a way for classical to do what pop does. And pop music reaches more people. It connects more people together. So I was really excited that, that acapella came into my life in that way. My background is not in music. I actually studied architecture and psychology in school. Um, and I started to work as an architect and a website designer and I realized that I don't think I was built for that. <laughs> I was built to make noises and sounds um, and that's how, <laughs> that's well, how I started to be a beatboxer. Um, actually, I should say I started in grade school when uh, Jessica uh, liked when I made a laser beam sound. And so... <laughs> Jessica was the girl in the desk next to him. No. Oh. She went with me to Lakeside, an amusement park. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, from that point on, I knew that I had to do music. And so uh, I got on a show called The Sing-Off with these guys, actually competing against these guys. Um, we, were, we were enemies, but we became friends <laughs> and realized that we had to do this together. Well, I grew up as a drummer and a singer in church, uh, singing a lot of gospel music uh, at an early age. Um, and then as I got older, I started to fall in love with classical music, uh, just like this guy. And I ended up at the Eastman School of Music and met That's my weird. best friends. 
yeah. that's where we met. <laughs> we're best buddies. We're like brothers. And he introduced me to acapella, so I, I was just this this little little kid there with with a little bitty voice trying to to be an opera singer, and he was just like, hey, you like singing other styles too? And I was like, yeah. So he recruited me over to an awesome group called the Yellow Jackets, and we met there, and we've been together ever since. little I saw a famous cellist Yo-Yo Ma on television and uh, I was three years old he was playing cello and he said it's music to him is not so much about the beautiful notes or the rhythms it's more about connecting with people and that has what has been has motivated me to be part of music since I was little and then I met these guys and we are all entirely different and yet we've become such good friends through music so we have a passion we can't really explain why we have an effect on people, but when the five of us are together, when one of us on our own, it's special, hopefully, but when the five of us are together, we can't explain it. We feel good, and we generally walk into a room, and people seem to feel good. They smile, they laugh, they dance, and basically, we're, we're honored to have that effect. We think that music can connect people. Our dream is that we can be on the radio, and that songs that we have written, people will know them everywhere we go, and that they will sing it in their own little way with their own accent and that's what the exchange is about live where you live tears well in her eyes but she wouldn't let them fall i give the world to know where her smile is. when you're on a team you practice hard, you hang out together, you become a family, and you perform well together. Um, and that's the same thing with an acapella group. Um, the more and more we hang out with one another, the more we get to know each other and what makes each other tick. Um, it, it works out really well. And when we get on stage, I, I guess that's why our energy is so infectious because like, we're functioning as one and, and people see that all across the world and, and we've been really blessed to, to have this, this power. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not human. He's not. <laughs> We're robots. <laughs> Long as I'm there with you. Oh, she said. Aaron said something that I've always really felt very strongly about as well, which is that music is more than notes. It's about um, how it makes you feel. And I think that probably, I guess, what I would bring to our arrangements and to our style is a uniquely uh, emotional element. Um, we are all very, well, you know, I'm just trying to be as humble as I can. We are all studied singers. We know how to sing. But what we find is that people don't often say, oh, you're such amazing singers. They say, oh, we had such a good time, or we felt so excited, or we felt so engaged. And that is, uh, that's what I strive to bring out of our arrangements, is, is capitalizing on each guy's strength to show off what a cool, awesome, talented person they are to get people engaged. So I think, I think that's what I bring. I asked, do you not like music? She said it's all right, but she dances to her own set. When you're behind the scenes on a show, you, you don't really have to care about what you look like or how you look when you're singing, or you don't, you don't have the, I don't, the worries that you have when you're on stage performing. I love the fact that now I get to interact with people. Um, gone to the audience, you're, you're looking at some girl in her eyes while you're swooning to her yeah. and she's all giddy and giggly <laughs> and all that other stuff. Um, that's probably the, the biggest thing I see that is different from behind the scenes to <laughs> performing live. Yes.
wet 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 I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Walking to the club like, what up? I got a big. Now I'm just pumped up off some shit from the thrift shop. Ice on the fringe is so damn frosty. The people like, damn, that's a cold ass hunt. Oh, rolling in hella deep, headed to the mezzanine. Dressed in all pink except my gator shoes. Those are green, draped in a leopard me. Girl standing next to me, probably should have watched this. Smells like R. Kelly. Bush, it was 99 cent Buy a cop and it watching it About to go and get some compliments Passing up on those moccasins Someone else has been walking in Bummy and grudging Fucking man, I am setting and flossing And saving my money And I'm hella happy that's a bargain I'ma take your grandpa style I'ma take your grandpa style No, for real, ask your grandpa Can I have his hand-me-downs? Thank you Velour jumpsuit and some house slippers Dookie brown leather jacket that I found digging They had a broken keyboard I bought a broken keyboard I bought a cheap blanket And then I bought a kneeboard Ha, hello, hello, my ace man, my mella John Wayne ain't got nothing on my fringe game Hell no, I can take some pro wings Make them cool, sell those The sneakerheads will be like, oh, he got the Velcro I'm gonna pop some bags Only got $20 in my pocket I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. What you know about rocking a wolf on your noggin? Hold on to me as we go. As we roll down this unfamiliar road. This guy recorded the album all his set himself, so we will <laughs> turn it over to him to talk, right, Fredo? Actually, a crazy experience recording that album. Recorded and edited the album in about two weeks. Like, crazy. I mean, I was up. You basically did not sleep. I did sleep. not sleep. I did not sleep for that two week period. There were I, times there were... that he would fall asleep. <laughs> Like editing stuff on my computer with my mouse in my hand. So. I'm like, dude, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> but um, it was awesome. It was a great ex experience um, working with everyone. Everyone's just crazy talented, and we got away with doing some amazing tracks. It was awesome. I really enjoyed working. With well, um, we've also since recording this first album, which I want to say, like. It, it might sound like, oh, they recorded it like themselves in their home. What? <laughs> Is this going to be good? Right. We promise, we, at least we think it's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's had a, it has had a good reaction. And I think the reason why is because this is what we're about. Grassroots. You start independently and grow. And the more people you bring in and invite into the process, the better it is. And so we're working from the ground up. That's what, that's, yeah. The, the name of the album is called Get Ready. Um, which our idea was that we wanted to give an album, give music to people that we visited on the tour. And because of that, it's, it's the beginning of a few albums that we're going to be coming out with. We've been working on an EP, we've been writing on our own music, and then after that we're going to release another album of, of all new music after that. So mm -hmm. this is just the beginning. Yes, and we're excited because we have some, uh, within the next m few months, we have some original tracks coming out that we've been working mm -hmm. hard on in a, actually, in an Asian studio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, we're so glad to see you guys here, and thank you for a great time here at the interview. Had a good time. Thank, thank you. you, we're very <laughs> grateful. <laughs> <laughs> and please, 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 stay in touch with us. Uh, check us out on Facebook, we are facebook.com slash exchange official <laughs> and uh, if you write to us we will write back to you we really want to stay in touch we're also on itunes thank you <laughs>